All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's Board of Ed meeting. The date is Tuesday, June 11th, 2019, and I would appreciate that you turn off your cell phones as this meeting is being recorded. Ellen, can you please do our roll call? Thank you, Chairperson Granado, and good evening, everyone. Mr. Cassio? Present. Mrs. Evans? Here. Mrs. Fitzpatrick? Here. Mr. Healy? Ms. McCurdy? Here. Mr. Morris? Here. Mrs. Paradise? Present. Vice Chairperson, Mr. Hill? Here. Chairperson, Mrs. Granado? Present. And Weathersfield High School Student Representative, Ms. Eden Fritz Aguirre? Here. All present. Thank you. And the board invites all of you to join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, we'll get right into our agenda. Mr. Emmett, we have a student recognition tonight. Yes, if I could please have Mrs. Fennelly of the Weathersfield Education Foundation come up to the podium. Good evening, everybody. Uh, before I present the annual Weathersfield Education Foundation Book Award, I would like to give you a brief summary of the accomplishments of the WEF since its inception in 2017. Our mission is to enhance and support education in the Weathersfield Public Schools. In the short time we have been in existence, we have accepted a donation of a vehicle by Monaco Ford to be used by students in the Automotive Center. An additional vehicle has been donated to this program by a Wethersfield resident. A $3,000 donation in memory of Richard Hughes was made to purchase equipment for the Automotive Center, and another $3,000 donation was made to purchase a car VC machine for use by the engineering design students. The foundation has also received many donations from individual Wethersfield residents as part of our founding donors campaign and we have realized money from Amazon Smile and Benevity. While our initial focus has been to enhance the technology program at Weathersfield High School, we are exploring the needs of other schools. We thank everyone who has contributed to our efforts so far, and it is my hope that Weathersfield residents and businesses will continue to support us to help our schools. And so now I would like to call Thomas Drake and Jolene. <laughs> I'm not going to embarrass you too much, but <laughs> 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 um, this is Thomas Drake. Thomas is uh, the recipient of our second annual Weathersfield Education Book Award. And Thomas is nominated by the technology teachers, Joanne Campbell. <laughs> Susan Coco and Ben Sikora. He has taken nine various technology classes, including animation, engineering foundations, independent study and advanced animation, video production, construction technology, robotics, and design engineering. Now, the teacher has also made some comments about his personal characteristics. Sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Drake is a teacher's dream. He is inquisitive, hands-on, diligent, helpful, responsible, and passionate about technology education. In his four years at Weathersfield High School, he has taken nine technology education classes, and it has been our experience that he has not only met the requirements, but also exceeded them. This was evident by assisting his peers volunteering to initiate and tackle new projects, as well as being enthusiastic about learning. We believe Tommy has consistently demonstrated these characteristics. As teachers, we want to instill in our students the desire to be lifelong learners. And Tommy has established that he is passionate about learning and that technology education has been instrumental in incorporating that enthusiasm into his life. And so therefore, 
It is um, our uh, unequivocal certainty that Tommy is an excellent representative of all the above aforementioned characteristics and he is highly recommended for this honor. Now just to make sure everybody understands what the honor is, uh, the annual Wethersfield Book Award is being given this year to a Wethersfield High School senior who has excelled in two or more technology classes. And honestly, the board of the foundation cannot think of a more worthy candidate. So maybe I will ask Joanne to help me present the book award to Thomas. Thank, Thank you. you and very much. Thank you. can I, Tom's? What do you, what do you plan to do? You're a senior, graduating senior. What are your plans? Um, I plan to attend Campbell University in North Carolina and pursue a major in Homeland Security. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Are we all set on that? Well set. Great. All right, next on tonight's agenda is the approval of the minutes for our regular Board of Ed meeting on May 28, 2019. Anyone so moved. see any, oh, that was fast. Uh, can I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? Those minutes are quickly approved. We also have the approval of the minutes for our special Board of Ed meeting on May 30th, 2019. Any corrections? May I have a motion? So moved. Second. A, a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Abstain. Great. So you're abstained. So okay. Those minutes are approved. And the approval of the minutes for our other our special ed meeting um, on June 6, 2019. Are there any corrections? Can I have a motion? So moved. Okay. Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? Abstain. Oh, abstain. So noted. Those minutes are approved. So now, is there anyone wishing to make a public comment? Please come on up to the podium and state your name and address. And may I remind you that the board has a five minute limit. Okay. <coughs> Mr. Emmett, you have some communications for us? I do, thank you. Good evening, Mrs. Granato. Good evening, board, and good evening, uh, members of the public. Uh, graduation is upon us this Friday. Uh, the latest weather forecast calls for a few a.m. showers on Friday morning, but at this point, it looks as though we are a go for outdoor graduation uh, at the Cove. Uh, we will be meeting tomorrow uh, to review the event plan and to coordinate all of the groups that make this uh, event happen. <clears throat> Very proud to uh, announce that uh, our Teacher of the Year for the Wethersfield Public Schools was named this past Thursday in a ceremony at Wethersfield High School. Mr. John Martin, English teacher at Wethersfield High School, has been selected as the 2019-2020 Teacher of the Year. Um, we also had the opportunity to honor our Paraprofessional of the Year for 2019-2020. She also being at the high school, uh, Miss Renee Soderberg, um, working at Wethersfield High School and supporting our students in the classroom environment. So congratulations to both on this great honor. And then finally, last but not least, the Hammer Principal <laughs> Search. Uh, focus groups were completed this week for both parents and staff for the Hammer Principal Search. Thank you to all who participated in these meetings and provided their feedback regarding the attributes and qualities desired for the next instructional leader at Hammer Elementary School. Thank you. Okay, any questions for Mr. Emmett? Um, yes, Mr. Emmett. Yes. Who's going to start um, as of July 1st in Hanmer? That'll be uh, Mrs. Zakay. Oh. It'll start as the interim yep, at Hanmer, just to uh, keep things rolling until we get our new principal seated. Yep. Any other questions? Okay, we'll move on. We have two action items this evening. And Kevin, will you do action item 6A for us? Thank you. 
We move that the Weathersfield Board of Education approve the revised operating budget for the 2019-2020 school year in the amount of $55,759,339. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? I think we're all talked <laughs> out. But Elaine? I'd just like to say that the board spent a great deal of time listening and certainly focusing on what's best for the students in this town and we came to a consensus that we, we felt was fair and equitable to most groups. So we appreciate your coming to talk to us, but as Mrs. Coronado says, the process starts in February, mm -hmm. and so we need you to get out in February and listen to the town council. Thank you. Thanks, Elaine. Anyone else? Diane? Um, I wasn't able to attend the meeting um, last Thursday, I was out of town. Um, and for transparency sake, can we please go over for the public as well mm -hmm. what um, we ended up taking out of the budget? Very happy to do so. These are the following reductions in our 2019-2020 operating budget. We have reduced uh, $214,000, uh, which eliminates the purchase of 1,000 Chromebooks. The following four items were related to the reconciliation with our shared services agreement with town council. Reduction of Social Security and Medicare, $70,000. Reduce the HSA contribution, $33,000. Reduce defined benefit contribution, $131,657. Reduce workers' comp premium, $96,292. Now back into the uh, education budget. We reduced our instructional supplies, $105,000. We reduced a reading tutor. 25,000. We reduced new and replacement textbooks, $50,000 reduction. We reduced our legal costs, 30,000. We took a $12,950 reduction in diesel fuel. We eliminated power school training, $5,000. We recognized $45,000 in savings for an unpaid leave that you uh, voted upon at the last board meeting. Mm -hmm. We reduced special education tuition, $100,000. We eliminated the SDMS RTC position, and that particular individual will be absorbed in the district, so we do not anticipate any uh, unemployment there. We uh, eliminated a SDMS health PE teacher. That individual will move over to the high school to fill a uh, vacancy created by a retirement. We are eliminating the instructional supervisor position. Uh, this will also be done through attrition. That's uh, the SDMS health PE teacher is 80,000. The SDMS RTC position, $36,086. The instructional supervisor, 144,423. We took an additional reduction to Social Security and Medicare, 14,785. And then what we were able to do was to remove the TRB contribution of $249,606, uh, as the state did not include that as part of their budget. We eliminated $7,894 of WHS stipends for programs that did not run. And with the savings for the TRB contribution, we uh, restored the French teacher. And we also have money earmarked for a fourth section of kindergarten at Highcrest based upon our enrollment numbers. Total reduction is $1,400,000. Our budget with the reduction is $55,759,339. Decrease over the 2018-19 budget is $2,969,130 for a percentage decrease over the 18-19 budget of minus 5.06%. John? Thank you, Michael. Um, at our special meeting that we had at the Silas Dean Middle School, one of the comments that I think all of us uh, embraced was the fact that once these programs are taken from us mm -hmm. and our budget, it's very difficult to place them back in. So, you know, this is not uh, a task that any of us feel comfortable doing. Uh, board members, administration, faculty, any of it. Um, and to think that, you know, we're going to get um, an easier budget next year, I don't think it's going to happen. So we're not going forward. Uh, we're not staying status quo. I think we're taking steps backwards. 
and it's unfortunate that we say that. So, Diane, um, did we get a response back from the town council that when we sent all that information that we were told we didn't send? No, I never heard anything. Anyone I else have another, that the position uh, that's coming from the high school to the middle school to take over the RTC program, who is that individual? We haven't decided that yet at this point in time. We have a variety of different things we need to look at, John. We're actually meeting about that tomorrow. So we have to look at, obviously, seniority. We have to look at caseload. We have to look at um, who's best suited for that position. So that, that has not been decided at this point in time. Okay, any other discussion? Right, can we take a vote? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion 6A passes. And I'll read motion 6B, which is moved that the Weathersfield Board of Ed cancel the regular meeting schedule for June 25th, 2019. Is there a second? Second. second. All right, any discussion? Okay, then we'll vote on it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion 6B passes. Okay, our Board of Ed meetings held. We had a special, board, all those special Board of Ed meetings, and Ginger will speak to the Board of Ed meeting on May 30th at the Silas Dean Middle School. Um, the May 30th meeting was the second of three workshops to discuss possible ways to comply with the town council mandated $1.4 million cut to the school budget. And we just voted on some of the results of that. Okay, thank you. And then we had another special board of ed meeting on June 6, 2019 at Stillman. Kevin, can thank you Thank you, Madam Chair. That? Yes, uh, again, as Ginger alluded to in our previous meeting, we again went over budget scenarios for this reduction as well, we had an action item of transferring um, some savings from our HA, from the HSA uh, to purchase some Chromebooks for this fiscal year. Okay, and then on Monday, June 10th, we had WEC, the Weathersfield Early Childhood Collaborative, which mission is that all Weathersfield children birth to eight are healthy, developmentally successful learners and connected to the community. Um, Paul Vivian is doing the two gen assessments, which Michael met with him and they worked on it. Um, the Alice Challenge Grant has been submitted, which is $20,000 to the um, town in order to be able to communicate all the um, uh, services that are available. The Family Learning has year three grant has been submitted, Hartford, Public, uh, Hartford Foundation for Public Giving. Um, they're at the end of the third year, but it has been extended one more year with no additional funding. The annual meeting does have a new date, which is Tuesday, October 29th. Um, PEP graduation is June 25th, 2019 at 6.30 at the Pitkin Community Center. And there's the new WEC calendar and all of this can be checked on their website. Um, future meetings, we have one on June 10th, 2019. Okay, meeting scheduled. We have the Memorial Day Parade Committee, which was such a success. Are you all gonna sit around and cheer for yourselves, I hope, it was wonderful. <laughs> Crack Council, Ginger, they're still doing that? Yeah, yeah they are, uh, you know. They keep I, Yeah, okay. I don't know why. But that's on that's the 19th. <laughs> and Finance and Information Management Committee meeting is on 625 at 615, which, yep. yeah. yeah, we may cancel, okay. Is there any unfinished business? Anyone? Okay, so we'll go on to anyone wishing to make a public comment, come on up to the podium, and may I have you state your name and address and remind you that we have a five minute limit. We got some <laughs> little boy in the front. <laughs> Good evening, Madam Chair and Board Members and Superintendent Ken Lesser, 8 Hawthorne Way. Uh, two quick things. One, I want to thank you for your support of the Career Advisory Board and congratulations to John Martin. And I hope we can come back as a board to tell all of you, most of you know, the work we've been doing on the Career Advisory Board and let the public know because some great work 
there. But most importantly, the reason why I came up to talk to you guys tonight is to say a big thank you. I know your job wasn't easy. Uh, it was very difficult this year, and the thoughtful approach that you guys took to making the adjustments that you had to make uh, deserves a lot of credit. So I just wanted to say a big thank you for the hard work you put in for the schools and for the town. So thank you. Thank you. Hey, anyone else? Okay, any board comments? Elaine. <laughs> um, Mrs. Granado and I and Mr. Emmett had the pleasure of going to the Transition Academy graduation. Did they include mm -hmm. all of us that went? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was a wonderfully done ceremony. Each child got up and spoke beautifully and shared their experience at the Transition Academy. I've been on this board since the Transition Academy was in a little room in the Pitkin Center. And Mr. Emmett and I looked at each other one day in there and said, we got to do better. <laughs> so Mr. Emmett set his goals to find them a place, and they are so thankful and so enriched in their new place that um, I thank Mr. Emmett for doing all that research to get us where we are today from the little room in Pitkin Center. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I'd like to say um, I want to thank Madam Katrinkis. Did I say that right, sir? Madam Katrinkis, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Mr. Sands for putting together that extraordinary D-Day presentation. It was an honor to be part of that recognition as my father was 18 years old at the time and just graduated from Wethersfield High and got his little card that said, greetings, you're going to war. <laughs> so um, that was very sensitive to me, that program altogether. Um, but the presentation was engaging and the band was outstanding oh, again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, everything I go to with a band is involved is outstanding. But the best part was how the young students realized it could have been them 75 years ago being drafted. They really sat there and listened. And there was so much recognition and so much admiration for those soldiers who were on stage and, of course, for the D-Day veterans who were on the stage. There were a couple World War II veterans there. And I had to go shake their hands because I, I heard the stories from, what do we call that, um, actual um, knowledge from my father. And I appreciate the people that put that together, John Sands and Madam Katrinkis. Thank you. Thanks, Elaine. Any other board comments? Diane? Um, yes. Every year at this time, as we approach graduation, I try to recognize um, some of the parents that we're going to be losing mm. um, who have their their last kid graduating. Um, I'm going to obviously miss, miss many people because I don't know them by name, but thank you to them. But I'd like to recognize um, a couple, probably about four um, people who um, over the years have been involved um, in PTOs, um, community, um, in the school mainly the school system with their kids and have their last kids graduating on Friday. Um, I'd like to thank Regina Cravera, uh, Lisa, Lisa and Stathi Minusos, um, the Inaros, and um, I especially like to thank a woman, Holly Sanzo, who has had three children come through the school system um, while working full time, was very engaged in all our PTOs, um, of activities that our kids were involved in, as well as being involved in starting up Girl Scout troops and 4-H in our town. So those are five, five, six people we're going to be losing um, in our school community, as well as others that I might have missed. But so it'll be time for other people to step up and carry the torch. Thank you. John? Thank you, Bobby. <clears throat> A couple of... Uh, action items or reports. Uh, this past weekend we had the Mayor's Charity Ball and it was for Action Hunger. And I wanna thank everyone who supported that uh, charity ball. Uh, it's a success, we don't have the final numbers but we did do good for the town of Wethersfield. Um, I think everyone that attended, we had a remarkable uh, attendance this year. Uh, we had 205 individuals in our club and it was well done. So I wanna thank the committee and everyone that worked on it, and it was a great time, a good experience. 
I also want to thank the uh, various schools and the principals for their weekly report that we receive as board members. I'm going to kind of miss it over the summer. Not really. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> they won't. <laughs> <laughs> but it, a lot of work, a lot of information that goes into it. Um, I don't know if the principal does it on their own, but has a staff that helps them out doing it. It's just remarkable. Because we're not in the schools, but yet we see it and we see pictures and the action of what's happening in the school during the time that comes on every week. Um, I want to well wish this young lady that sits next to me. She had the opportunity this past year as the high school rep. And Eden, we're going to miss you. You did a fantastic job. Uh, you were eloquent. You're sp spot on with everything that you reported. And we wish you well at Eastern Connecticut State University. Uh, I think you'll be a good fit there and uh, continue to work hard. and. Um, you'll be a great success. Thank you. Thank you. Also, um, a couple of other uh, people I want to thank. I want to thank us. Um, we <laughs> we uh, don't get paid. We put a, over 30 hours a weekend. We don't get health care benefits. Um, but one of the things that we do have that no one else has, I think we have a great hardworking team. Uh, we have a lot of laughs, we have a lot of discussion, we agree to disagree, but at the end of the day, um, I, I can't say that uh, we walk out of here angry at anybody. Um, and we have, uh, you know, a lot We're of good We're too ideas. exhausted to walk out of here angry at anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of good ideas. Uh, Ginger and I had great discussion this past weekend <laughs> about how to raise money. Uh, for the board next year, and uh, we discussed we'll <laughs> we discussed pay for play. But one of the ideas that we creatively came across was pay for say. So when people come to the podium to speak, they have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Just an idea. Really you know, we're trying to creative thoughts. thoughts. I know. I'm not. I'm you not know, answering you, those. <laughs> <laughs> a little lighten up, uh, but there's a lot of serious things that go on. But at the end of the day, we. Uh, have a great team, and I want to thank us for all the hard work we do. Thank you. Have a great summer, everyone. Yeah. yeah. And all of you have yeah. a great summer. Great. Thank you, John. Anyone else? Chris? Real briefly, Madam Chairman, uh, I want to uh, echo what uh, my board member, uh, friend Elaine, talked about with the D-Day ceremony, which you were at as well, and many people from the town, community, otherwise. I thought it was uh, extremely well done, tasteful, respectful. Uh, thoughtful, uh, heartfelt, and maybe there's a lack of sleep, but I was, you know, weeping in the back when, you know, they were, the choir was singing the French national anthem and uh, the American anthem. I thought it really spoke well of the, the quality of what we're doing with our kids, and I was just impressed with um, their, the kids' humility about it all. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have enough humility, it seems, these days, and it's good to see it in our kids, so I just want to compliment the school administrators and teachers and others who put that together. It was, a, it was an honor to be there. Thank you. Thank you. Kelly? Thank you, Madam Chair. I just wanted to make one quick observation as this is the end of my first year here. Um, I, you know, fully, <laughs> I fully support the leader-leader model um, that is part of the strategic imperative of the schools. And I've been really, really impressed by some of the comments and some of the you know, the beautiful stories we have been shared that have been kind of made possible by this initiative. You know, we saw the straws and the, um, the <laughs> multicultural days, and I love, um, I love seeing that. And what I'm really, really impressed and encouraged by is the ability of our teachers to come up here and talk to us and really kind of share their experiences and their issues and their problems and really keep those lines of communication open. So I was extremely happy to see that kind of unfold throughout this year, and I encourage everybody to um, yep. out there to, you know, keep it coming and keep those lines of communication open. Thank you. Great, thank you. Great comment. Anyone else? I always have some comments at the end, but as I was writing these, I'm thinking, boy, the days are long, but the years go by. So they're so short. Um, and most appropriate words for our 2018-19 school year. But we made it, and this board worked with the administration, teachers, and the public to get a budget that will allow our system 
and I'll have to disagree with you a little, John, to continue to move in the direction of being a progressive and innovative 21st century system. We are determined. Um, there were many questions asked of the board during our challenging budget reductions, but one in particular I'd like to address tonight, and we did return all emails, but I, this was one question that was asked, and that question was, what is guiding the board in making decisions on what is cut and what is not? First, the reason for any budget, school budget cut um, at this point in the budget uh, cycle is a reduction from the town council. That started in February with our budget. The town council reduced our budget May 15th. But secondly, and most importantly, we are guided by a strategic plan that the board created. And this strategic plan is from 2018 to 2024. And it has goals and strategies and actions that guide us to that year 2024 with revisions as necessary. So please, if you want to know what the board is thinking and why we're doing the things we're doing, we're following the strategic plan. Um, we're just not pulling things out of the air. And lastly, we did not use scare tactics in our reduction scenarios. We are lean and the cuts are going to hurt. So the board administration and staff are asking for your support going forward in doing the most important task, educating our children. We all know that our generation's most important job is to educate the next generation of our townspeople, and they all stay. Um, they are our most valuable asset. And speaking of valuable assets, we have our high school representative, Eden. Can we have our final words from you? Absolutely. So good evening. Um, first of all, um, during lunch phase on Tuesday, June 4th, a representative from the Weathersfield Voter Registrar's Office helped students um, register to vote. Um, my peers found it incredibly helpful since many of them didn't know how to get registered. So that was really exciting. And I also wanted to speak favorably of the commemoration of the 75th D-Day anniversary. It really was done beautifully. And I also want to thank the board. It's really been an honor to serve with all of you. You're all really great people, and I'm going to miss you all, so thank you. Great. We'll miss you too, Eden. And best of luck. Thank you. Okay. Well, at this time, I'm going to make a motion that we move to executive session for the purpose of contract discussions and possible ratification of the CSEA SEIU Local 2001 Parasecretarial Contract. Is there a second? Second. second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. That concludes the public part of our board meeting. I thank you all for coming and for watching. The board wishes you a good night. Okay. I have the motion, but you can get it. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy. Appreciate it.